Hey guys, it's Heather, and I've got my Pop Sugar Must Haves box. So I, I'm filming on a new camera um, and I'm battling the, the, you know, this time of year sun, which is at the top corner of my window and it is absolutely blinding me. My husband has tried to change things around in here a little bit and we might have to get a shade for that window or I'm gonna have to change the time of day that I'm able to film. Um, because if I do this, I feel like you can see me now. So I don't know, I'm gonna have to figure it out. I'm on a new camera my, and that I'm trying out. My husband bought me the, the Sony RX100M7. I don't know what all that means. Um, and I have this, I'm trying, to, I don't know. I'm trying to make all the light work. I, it seems different to me, so I don't know. I'm gonna have to see how this video turns out. Uh, I still have my trusty sitting right here. This is my regular camera that I love and I know, and I am not a techie person. My God, I am not a techie person. And that tripod, the light is in my way. It's on my desk. Everything is new. Everything is new, and I'm totally chaotic with it. I'm, I'm not good at learning new stuff. I'm just not. He is a techie guy. He thinks it's fun. I find it intimidating as all get out. But I want to see what's in my pop sugar box. And this is the time I have to film today. Oh, let me move that so I don't... Like little things like this are sitting on my desk right now. This is a microphone. Didn't know I needed one. If this hits the floor, this is going to be lunch for one of my puppies. <laughs> But I have a nail appointment at 11 and I need, I am in desperate need. They are cracking and peeling up. And I, I do the SNS, which I love because it's supposedly healthier for your fingernails. Um, but I never really liked this color on me. I don't think it was done well and they're super thick. So a lot of things that I'm normally able to do, I'm not able to do. I've got to get them done today before I go nuts. Oh, it's pretty in here. So I don't know if you're seeing what I'm seeing, but it's super pretty in here. Happiness delivered, pop sugar. Okay, let's see. I'm so afraid I'm gonna knock something over. In my little book, The Winter 2019, I, now let me go real quick, go back over Pop Sugar. Let me bring it up real quick um, so I get it all right. I had it open. But I also have, I don't know, 30 tabs open on my box. I mean, on my, on my computer. <laughs> and I don't see it, so it must have gotten closed out. Everything seems to be changing and I get overwhelmed when things are changing, you know, when um, technology, I mean, just, just trying to get my new phone. I'm terrible about remembering passwords and, ah, let's see, that says pop sugar, but I mean pop sugar must haves, right? I pull it up right there. Pop sugar, here we go, here we go. Does it tell me what the price is? I think it's like $49. I, I paid for a year in advance. So at the end, up in the description box, I'll put how much it is. All right, so I see a little pack of thank you cards and they say merci. Those are, they're by Rifle Paper Company. Let me pull this up. That's actually, I go through a lot of thank you cards. I am one that feels like a handmade, handwritten, um, thank you card means something. Uh, my mother used to make me, whenever somebody would give me something throughout, you know, birthday, Christmas, whatever, she would always make me sit down and write a thank you letter. And I've passed that on to my kids. And I, I don't know that my son does it, but I know that for sure that my daughter does it. But anyway, this is a box set of eight Rosa Mercy greeting cards. Don't forget to thank everyone for those ho wonderful holiday gifts and friendly gestures you received this year. These beautiful greeting cards have gold foil details for a luxe touch. The original floral design is created by Rifle Paper Company co-founder and CCO Anna Bond. It is so special to receive a piece of handwritten mail in our digital world. So help spread the joy and say merci. The suggested retail price of this is $18. I completely agree and I think they're really pretty. I do, I do, you know, for, I know it's hard to do when you have, you know, bridal showers and wedding gifts and whatever, but my daughter sat down and wrote a thank you card to every person that she received something for, even the people that just came to the wedding. 
I just found that to be an important gesture. And I mean, a text message, it's nice to know somebody's thinking about you, but it, to me, it doesn't always come across as the same, you know, feel. So the coloring is definitely different in this camera. And in this one, it tracks your eyes. So if I go to show you something, it's supposed to zoom in on it like instantaneously. But what I'm seeing in the camera is this little square that bounces around my face and follows my eyes. It tracks my eyes. All right, the next thing in the box is the Kevin Aquan Beauty, the Neo Blush in Rose Cliff. Let me pull that up. Look at that. It didn't even have to focus because I got rid of my eyeballs. For an instant glow in the dead of winter, use this creamy powder that's easy to apply. The pigmented shade is universally flattering, universally flattering and blends satin, matte, and pearl finishes for instant luminosity and major color payoff. It's both blendable and buildable, so you can make it as subtle or as bold as you wish. The retail price is $38 pretty packaging and you know what I don't own anything from Kevin Aquan. it's pretty I'm not going to take the little plastic piece over top of it but it's very pretty I like that it is like I'm like an ombre you're going from peachy to pink to a plum here I'll take that off a peachy pink to a plum I think that's very pretty I'm not going to swatch it um, you know first of all I don't want to be covered in it right especially since I have literally about 10 minutes to finish this so that I can, it just takes me 30 minutes to get to the nail salon. All right, what do we have next? It is the fast bar. Let me find the fast bar in this. Ooh, I'm seeing something I like. It's not in the book. So this says that it is experienced fasting and nutrition for weight management and healthy aging healthy aging. I think this would be great to throw in my purse. Yesterday was mother daughter day. And you know, Emily is now counting macros. She's lost over 10 pounds, you know, to date. And since she's been doing this, one of her best friends does it. And it's for health, it's for weight loss, it's for all of that. For me, it is I have no idea how how it works. Maybe this is it. No, that's not it. Um, She's going to teach me because I'm thinking about trying it, but she has to spend like an entire Sunday. Oh, here it is. She had an entire Sunday meal prepping. And I don't know that I would regularly do that, but I need to lose about 20 pounds. <laughs> All right, I did find it. It's the Fast Bar by El Nutra. Uh, Fast Bar Cocoa Nuts. If you need a little chocolate pick-me-up, this is Cocoa Nut. This Cocoa Nuts Bar is loaded with wholesome ingredients that are both tasty and nourishing. Cocoa powder and a host of premium nuts come together in harmony for a treat you'll be obsessed with. Obsessed with. The suggested retail value is $3. So what I was saying is yesterday was Mother Daughter Day and she didn't bring her lunch with us and we can no longer eat out because she has her meals prepped for the week. And we ended up running a little later than we thought and we're standing in line at Lowe's and I am just starving. It's like after one, I hadn't eaten and I was starting to get hangry. So I grabbed some combos, which was probably not the best idea. And I ate some combos, but if I had something like this, which I have in the past, just thrown a little bag of nuts in my purse. I didn't have one yesterday, so I had combos. And this has chocolate, and it looks like pecans, almonds, and hazelnuts. I will have to read this. Almonds, coconut, macadamia nuts, and pecans, yes. I can eat these. I can't have walnuts or Brazil nuts. Those two make my stomach torn to pieces. But I'm, I'm going to throw this one in my bag today. All right, what do we have next? I have a little teeny tiny bag. Let's see. This is by Thai. Let's see what the Thai is. I think I found it. Thai Jewelry. Pop Sugar Editors love all the Thai jewelry designs so much. We decided to let you choose which piece you'd like to own. It's tied in a knot. It's tied in a knot. Um, you got to pick from dainty hoop earrings, a gold tone rainbow necklace, or a silver plated medallion necklace, which is, I think, what I ordered or I, what I picked. There's something for every taste. Whatever you select it, it will be the cherry on top of your outfit. I'm trying to undo this little bitty knot with these really long, thick nails that I need to get fixed today. All right, so the retail suggested retail price is sixty to eighty dollars. Oh, I guess I didn't pick. Depending on the selection of jewelry. These are little teeny tiny bitty hoops I, in a little teeny tiny bitty bag. <laughs> uh, oh Lord, okay. I got one out. You're gonna have to be looking at dry cuticles right now because I don't even have lotion on my hands. 
they're like a little rainbow stone. Did it zoom? I did it, did it, did it focus. Little hoop on a rain with little tiny rainbow studs. Yeah, I think that would be really cute on my granddaughter. I think I might gift those to my granddaughter. Oops. You might, my daughter, Emily, growing up, she was all about the American Girl dolls. I can't even tell you how much so. She would keep the magazines in a circle. I mean, she, I still have some. I have some in my house. I think I have three with, you know, wheelchairs and little bitty finger splints. But everything was rated size-wise. Um, so if we went out with on something tiny, she'd say, oh, American Girl size or Julie size or Marisol size. Marisol was her first doll, uh, her first American Girl doll. The second one was Julie. And then the third one was like right before her 12th Christmas. She fell in love with this just like me. It was, uh, it was American Girl, but they were kind of, you could pick some that looked like you. And she picked hers out, but she had to wait till Christmas. And I want to say this is like, August is when she's picked it out. This one had brown hair, brown eyes, and she was gonna name her Paige. Well, for months before Christmas, she was pretending. I mean, she'd put Marisol and Julie at the dinner table, and then there would be an empty space, and she would feed the imaginary Julie doll, I mean, a Paige doll that she hadn't even received yet. She played with that doll in, the, in an imagination way so much that by the time Christmas came, of course, she was really excited to see her for Christmas, but it was like January of that year was she was done playing with dolls. I do you know how much the American Girl dolls cost. So I've kept those. Those were her things. She was all about her dolls growing up. And my son was all about Hot Wheels. So I have his Hot Wheels and he's 28 now and Emily is 22. I have kept those two different things from their lives, her dolls, his cars. So when my grandkids come to play, they can, and Julia, my, Sophia, my granddaughter is just now the age where she won't pull the hair out of the dolls. So, and of course, when Emily has her child, she'll have the dolls for her house. All right, let's see what's next. I'm running my mouth, I'm sorry. Kaffa, energizing, rejuvenating, invigorating body oil. Ooh, this is the time of year where I need a ton of body oil. Come on, come on, come on. Kaffa. MS Skincare Kaffa Body Oil. This uplifting oil blend is warm and energizing. It's so great to use when you're tired and want to feel invigorated. To use, massage the oil in the skin with long circular strokes. For best results, apply to damp skin directly after bathing or pour a small amount of oil into a warm bath. I can't get the box open. For an immersive aromatherapy experience, the coconut oil and go-to cola extract in this formula are known to help to reduce the appearance of cellulite, ooh, scars, and skin damage. This product is an ultimate is the ultimate multitasker. I ripped the box, but I know I'm gonna use this. I am. I have a little bottle of almond oil that I got from Bath & Body Works last year that is just about gone. And look how pretty this is. This is a glass jar. That's so pretty. I gotta open it. Oh, it's got like a little, oh, okay. So if it says spritz, that means it has that. There we go. But I do wanna smell it. What am I smelling? Maybe. I smell a little bit of spice and a little bit of citrus maybe. Oh my God, that smells so good. I'm looking forward to using that. I am looking forward to using that. That's gonna go down into my nightly bath routine. All right, what's next? I don't know what this is. This is. I almost lost the whole box. All right, something round, and it seems like a contains the Hudson Bleaker round travel case. Okay, so it's like a, I don't know, it's probably pleather or faux leather, like we call it now. But it's a, I've had purses, this same cross grain material here. Whether you're headed on a weekend getaway or long trip, this vegan, that's what it's called, vegan Safiano leather travel case will keep your toiletries organized. This chic black and white striped interior lining gives it a stylish touch that will make you smile every time you zip open the bag. It even includes a TSA friendly clear bag. Look it out, it's round. That's so cute. Uh, and it includes a TSA friendly clear bag in case you're carrying on your luggage. Consider this your new packing essential. 
I like the fact that it has a little clear bag inside of it. Anything that might spill or whatever it does have a little pouch at the top here. Nice big space. This slides right inside, which I'd still have, a, you know, about an inch on top of that inside there. That's super cute. The retail value of this is $48. That's a really neat idea. I haven't seen a round TSA approved container before, but I trust them, right? It's pop sugar. That's neat. I don't fly a lot though. I think the last time I flew, I flew to Puerto Rico. No, was it New Jersey? I think I flew to New Jersey. First time I, first and only time I've ever flown first class. It was really nice. It was only like a two hour flight though. All right, so what do we have here? This is the Nima. Excuse me, my dog has a piece of plastic. There we go. You can't eat that because you'll have to poop it out. All right, this is a long skinny box. So it's probably, okay, Nima Obiero Lunaris. Really? I probably butchered that. Bianco Nero Rectangle Dish Tray. We call this the anything dish because it's so versatile. Use it for serving yummy snacks as decor in your coffee table or to store pencils on your desk. This trendy black and white design. Oh, in my little bag. Um, makes this a glam accent fit for any room. This piece is handmade by artisans using the ancient technique of sand casting. We love that it's made of recycled materials. Ooh, that's pretty. So it's silver around. I can see little crackers across there. That's really pretty. Linaireshome.com. Retail value of this is $69. That is really pretty. Yeah, definitely a uh, easy color to, to match any decor. Our decor is not very colorful, so that would work out pretty well. Not sure what I would do with it yet. I can't leave it where the dogs will get to it because it will break. Let me slide this back over here. My desk is now full of everything. I have to the right of me more microphone stuff that my husband bought for this camera and the Jeffree Star Shane Dawson palette sitting over here <coughs> that I'm not sure what to do with. All right, happy, excuse me, happy holidays, beautiful. Looking for a gorgeous gift at an amazing price? We've got you covered. Shop and save 25% on your entire order when you enter the code below. The question isn't who's going to lap me, it's who's going to stop me. I like that quote. All right, what else do we have in here? This is gonna be nice. This is, I saw this in here, this by Apothic White Vetiver Reed Diffuser. To fill your space with face, ah, to fill your space with lasting fragrance. For some reason, that was a tongue twister for me. This diffuser will keep a room smelling fresh for three to four months. This sultry white vetver scent, vetver scent includes notes of cashmere, eucalyptus, and lilac, entwined with earthy sandalwood, amber, and cedarwood. This reed diffuser is thoughtfully created using alcohol-free, perfume-grade oils. You'll like it so much you'll want for one for every room. I think this is gonna go in my little toilet room. I'm going to smell. It's pretty, and you've got your little reed sticks that goes with it. Oh, please don't let me wear this. I'm gonna set it down and try to do this very gently. Ah! Oh, it's nice. I like that. That's good. That's going in my bathroom. It's not too much. A very nice scent. I bought a new candle for the center of my coffee table. Um, when I went to Dillard's the other day, it is the is by Anthropology. It's a nice big glass poured candle, and it's a white fur and cranberry. Oh, it's so nice. So that uh, that reed diffuser, re suggested retail value is forty eight dollars. And that's it. My box is now empty. And the sun did kind of peek around the corner a little bit, so I've, it's not quite as blinding right now. There's nothing in that box I can get to. I think this was a great box. I've purposely not watched anybody else um, 
open theirs because I, I want to be surprised. I don't want to move this stuff over here. I've got cardboard everywhere. Pop sugar to me is fun. Um, I, I like the variety of the different things that we get. They're not all just makeup related or home related. They're kind of all over the board. I mean, it's, you've got beauty with the, um, the, the blush and the jewelry. You've got home sense. You've got, you know, body care. And I would consider this body care too. I'm probably going to take this with me today. Can you hear that in the background? That's my robot vacuum emptying himself, which I like. I like that. So let me just make sure. Ha! Huh. How much is the pop sugar box? I can't remember. Like I said, you can sign up for, okay, the cost is $75 a box. Um, there's a coupon MSA 20 to save $20 off of your first box. And I know that I set it up where I think a year ago I paid. So it's probably coming time for renewal for me to get this. And it's a quarterly box. You get it in, the, in different seasons. This is not something that you get every, every time, every month. Um, and, this, and you can go on the website and you can see details about each individual item. Oh, that's, I thought it was the same thing twice, but it's not. And I'm wondering if I like this little fast bar, if I can just go on there and get some more. I mean, I think there's a, yes, that's a little fast bar right there. That's going in my purse. Enjoy this delicious bar anytime. We recommend not more than once a day. It is 240 calories, but if you're going to use this for like a meal replacement, I think that would work great. Mm. Two, two milligrams of iron, 255 milligrams of potassium, um, and there's calcium, 48 milligrams of calcium. So anyway, that is my pop sugar for my winter pop sugar must has box. And I'm really happy with it. I think everything here is either going to be um, a gift, which I, those little earrings I think are gonna go to my granddaughter. And I'm looking forward to using this. As soon as my Bath and Body Works, I, I have this little green bottle, I have about this much, and I mix it with my lotion and I just put it all over my body. And I like that. So at least you know, a certain sense for the time of year. One of my favorite things right now, they don't, Bath and Body Works isn't selling it anymore, but I think it was either last Christmas or the Christmas before they had a, oh, I want to say the word perfectly. It is the Dag Nabbit. The body wash, lotion, body, I'm not wearing it right now. Mint coconut drop. That's it, coconut mint drop or mint coconut drop. There's just a feeling that I get, um, being an asthmatic and being that my chest gets tight a lot, there's certain mint scents that when you're feeling like a hot steamy shower and you feel like you can't catch your breath, if you have a mint, you know, something that's like a mint or eucalyptus smell, it kind of opens your senses up a little bit. And this coconut mint drop is just, for me, one of my favorite scents for my body. Uh, throughout the holidays, not not year round. It's just very refreshing, very crisp and very clean. Am I still recording? I am. I have like this cage around the camera that my husband put on there that's got hot shoes and cold shoes on it. I'm learning what all that means. So, and I don't even know what this is gonna sound like because I have this giant microphone. Let me, uh, I'll show you what I'm talking about. I'm gonna, just, I'm gonna use the little Kevin Aquan mirror and I'm gonna reflect what I'm looking back at back at you. Can you see it? And you probably can't see the little square across my eyes, but he says I'll get used to it. And if I do, my plan is, is that this other camera that I love desperately, I'm going to gift to Emily. So, cause she's, you know, she's trying to record right now on her phone. And I know you can put it in airplane mode and do what you need to do, but Sometimes you forget that and you're trying to record something and text messages come through or your phone rings or something happens and I get notifications on my phone all the time. I am running my mouth for some reason. I'm doing a lot of chitter chatter here recently, haven't I? Sorry guys, I'm just feeling talkative. Okay, it is time for me to go get ready to go get my nails done. I'm not sure exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna do French or ombre. Uh, this is like the pink and white ombre. I'm not doing that again. I, I'm kind of feeling like a deep burgundy and gold or a navy blue or a gray. I don't know. I'm gonna have to get there and see what I fall in love with. I hope you guys have a very happy day and hope you like this video. Give it a, th a thumbs up if you did. If you haven't subscribed already, I hope that you'll choose to and come back and see me in my next videos. I'm considering doing some sort of a version of Vlogmas. 
I have started decorating um, because there's so much to be done. I've got my foyer complete. My front porch is almost complete. And I put my mantle up. I built my own decor on my mantle this year with different pieces, not a big swag. I, I'm, I like things to be... I don't, I don't like my whole house to throw up Christmas. I like things in certain areas. So you'll see what I'm talking about. Hopefully, hopefully it translates in the way that's in my head. We'll see. I hope you guys have a very happy day. Come back and see me. I'll see y'all soon. Bye.